It's all good. It's all good. specific conversation uh, had to do just with a status that came across my feed but uh, just another local artist and and the amount of negativity that was being thrown their way so you talking, talking about the one talking about Layla talking about Layla Day's project and and the comments you know about you know Shy's son and all this stuff so I definitely had to yeah yeah you know what I mean so I just had to, you know, like, at least give my voice of reason, like I normally do. Um, then the responses to that voice of reason was very, very, uh, like, zero to 100. So, I just, you know, put a couple of the responses to give greater, greater context of why I would explain myself to say, you know, you shouldn't be getting at this person, you shouldn't be is unnecessary you know and instead of uh that perspective just being respected as is it was further you know my post my post on this post is unnecessary and then you know bringing you up and bringing and all these different things so I, I i'm like well i i'm not bringing all these people into this situation i'm just commenting on the post about a specific individual and now Everyone's being brought in. Tamara's being brought into the situation. You're being brought into the situation. Like, I'm like, I, I didn't, I didn't bring these people in, but I, I'm trying to respect the fact that my boy is your, like, is the father of your kid. Like, I'm trying to respect the fact that even musically, you guys have done things to brand that further. So, um, as I make commentary, I'm, I'm trying to be respectful to the, to the new you. I'm trying to be respectful to you, but I can't say I'm trying to be respectful to Shy. I, I can't say that um, because I already tried to be respectful. And I even left the post alone and I, and, and I saw the you know more notifications coming in more. So I was like, man, I don't know where respect is at if he's not seeing this, if he's not interested in it, but whatever. A little, a little bit, a little bit of both. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, whatever. And I, and I just let it slide. Then um, okay. I kept seeing other posts, and I just went back and I read all the posts that I didn't see in that forum initially. Okay. And when I saw how vulgar, literally everyone's response was, I was like, nah, I'm gonna air this out because 
maybe people don't understand where my perspective is coming from, from the situation with Adria and everything, not ever finding peace, except for me right. leaving it at peace, you know, because I brought it to you, right. I brought it to you individually, but Shy actually mediated the situation, so I appreciated her for that, right. but but she, right. medi she mediated it with, uh, you know, here's, pl here's part A, and then there's going to be part B. Part B never happened, right. and I left that alone. I left it alone. Even even saw saw uh, Adria at Manifesto. Put my arm around her. Said, "Look, there's no beef." She just walked away. So, for me, right. I've yeah, always even I've, in that situation, you know what my was, was yeah, like life. you weren't you weren't really trying to jump in, and I didn't, and it you wasn't. Mm, 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 mm. That's what I said. That's what I showed Adria. Yeah, and and that's fine. Like I never. It was you. It was never your responsibility to do anything. I just believed it was respectful for me to bring it to you, as you're the person who instigated, in a sense, um, our relationship. So, right, right, yeah. So just moving forward and and knowing that perspective, um, and knowing that even myself mediated, I mediated a situation between herself and Tan. So, uh, if I deaded it on my side, but I actually lost money. I actually, you know, it's, it's my actual pockets. It's actual business. I, right. On that side, it's just emotions. On that side, there's no actual real business going down. But the hate, the consistent hate. And I'm like, yo, all we ever do is make music about love. All we're here trying to do is tell the people to unite. And I'm part of the people. I'm black. And these are the, we're talking about black people right now. We're not talking about no white person. We're talking about black people. And I and I get it. We don't agree. We don't agree on everything, but that never stopped me. That that never stopped. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That never stopped us in 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 the past to continue keeping things cordial. But this now is like I'm like whoa, because I know some of the situation from different sides, but when it's going like that publicly, consistently on so just like you said, you wouldn't necessarily go in the back and forth. But in the silence, or or in the sense of not ending it from that side, there is almost a cosign of the back and forth on the social media. So that's why I was like, you know what? I read again what was going on, and I had to just explain myself to my side, to my people, to mutual friends, to anybody who understands that I'm also, in a sense, affiliated to Shy because I produced for her a couple, a few times. So. That's that's really all it is. It, it was it was over with that post. I did. I I even said in that post I'm not gonna respond because it wasn't about any more back and forth. It's just letting it be clear, let it be known my position in the situation and why I feel the way I feel. No, no beef. <laughs> like I don't have time for beef. But then we're calling into other things, my musicality and no. And I I didn't I didn't even really get into that. All I did was post. I say hey, I even been dropping music so. I get it. You have a perspective, but this is my perspective. That's it. Right. You know. I don't think there's anything. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Um, like I said, I don't, it, I don't it, think there's anything wrong with that either. Mm. It's just, I just would rather instead of having an online conversation, because words typing can always be misconstrued. I rather speak with you. Mm. Really? If I didn't know you that well. Or if I felt that you were like an evasive person, case in point, another musician who were in that main nameless, mm -hmm. I had them out on Facebook some months back. But I did that because that person really fucked me over and fucked with me, and because I know that person is evasive and they wouldn't ha have that conversation with you. Mm. But I don't know you to be that person, regardless of how long it's been since we've spoke with each other. I know you're the person that is violent you. You can have it, we can talk. So that's pretty much what I felt like my duty was mm -hmm. as someone who has a relationship with, with both of you guys. You know what I mean? Yes. And, and uh, I, I, I definitely respect you reaching out. I just feel there's more of responsibility just generally to keep our people accountable to positivity, to uniting. You know, and that's not that's not a conversation for me to call you and say, yo, you know, tell pe your peoples on your sides, whether it be shy or anyone else that you're affiliated with, that the negativity on, on social media carries more weight than they believe. Absolutely, and, because we're all adults. 
Yeah. Our own decisions, whether they be right or wrong out here. But at the same time, I've already spoke to Shine. She says that's like an outlet for her. So I'm like, you know what? She's not going to stop. At least I could just be a voice of reason. I could be, in a sense, devil's advocate and give all these people who are coming just to read the entertainment. Some of them aren't even commenting. Some of them aren't Absolutely. even liking. They're and, just coming to read that entertainment. I don't call it because mm. I'm like, yo, I feel like this is more of a kiki ki laugh entertainment for people than it is a um, healthy conversation. Mm. It can be a healthy conversation. Well, I, I, I invited you guys. I invited you guys, and maybe the timing was was whatever. But I know we were supposed to link up from from last month too. So it's not like my door my door has not been open. It's just Brampton's far or Caledon's far or whatever the reasons are. You know, so it's, it's, it's nothing, it's in here nor it's neither here nor there on my side because you know me, I'm working doing music every day for my life. But I just can't deal with the negativity consistently from folks that I wanna support who say who are saying unite. I'm out here saying king and queen too about y'all so if i'm saying king and queen i expect a certain level of responsibility to what that term means or i'm gonna say nah it's my turn to be king right because you guys are in leadership you don't want to really take it as that but you are a lot of people are looking to you guys to see something change in our city and it's not by further segregating ourselves it's not by further dividing ourselves even even against the people who we say are oppressing us but that's a whole other right. conversation, right? It's just right. negativity. And, and you I, saying this to me mm. makes me understand fully. Now, mind you, I didn't make up my mind as to what I thought you were saying or what I thought your agenda was. But this conversation you're having and all the things you're saying, those are the things that it's like, okay, this is healthy. I like this conversation. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. But, and I feel like, yes, both of y'all have the right to say whatever y'all want to each other on social media. But I mean, I really feel like social media is a place where one person has a stance, another person has a stance, and then everybody else in the audience chooses which side they want to be on. And then it becomes this, a thing where it becomes unhealthy, right? Mm -hmm. I, and Cause you're saying because people, we, people, we, people we, start we, taking we, sides. Right now, this is healthy. Yeah, I agree. I also I also agree. Social media is more about hype than edifying. Absolutely. So I do understand that um, Shai's brand has been able to open up a lot of kind a lot of conversations that normally wouldn't happen on social media. Right. Like I, if I try and break one of those conversations open on my page, it's most likely not going to go anywhere than like three posts. So I right. do appreciate that commentary, that social commentary that she can give. But I do believe I also give very truthful opinions coming from the deepest place on those posts and they're dismissed like you don't like folks don't know G personally. So that's that's why I'm like because I get it. It's folks don't know her folks don't know G personally. Right? No no I'm saying she she's responding to me like she doesn't know me personally. So the energy is like I'm just another right. person attacking. I'm just another person doing that and then everyone jumps on that bandwagon so energetically uh -huh. i like energetically in the situation i will always have edifying conversation with my brothers that's why in every single post i was like that's my brother spec I, like you know what i mean like i will always say that's my brother that's my brother that's my brother that's my brother so people know there's no ill will because how could i have ill will to my, toward my own flesh and blood right but energetically in terms of working and trying to do that if brands are aligned and then they're being you know, spoken to like that publicly, then now I can't even do anything about it. Like, I can't, I, what am I supposed to do? My brand's being tarnished as I'm even saying, but wait, I co-sign y'all. But wait, I'm a part. Nah, nah, you're not. Nah, you're not. So, energetically, what am I supposed to do at this point? I just say my piece and let it be peace, you know? Right. Like, usually, what I would try to do is be the person that mediates the situation so that everybody's okay. Mm. But the way I know you and the way I know her, in my mind, yes, everything's possible, but 
I don't feel like that's the position I should play because it's like you guys are both grown. You guys know if you like each other or not. I can't tell y'all to like each other. I can't tell her or you. You understand what I'm saying? And my standpoint on this is pretty much that one of, I know people on the outside are going to look at it and be like, yo, this is going on, this is going on. And people are going to think that I'm the type that's going to be like, choose a side. All right, keep game. There's two things that I am. One is I'm loyal, two is I'm fair. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So obviously I'm always going to be loyal to our queens. Hell yeah, hell yeah, time. hands down. And I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't have you do it any other way. You know, but at the same time, I know her and how she stays and I know you and how you stay. Mm-hmm. You guys are both two people that I have relationships with in my life. And I understand what is happening here. And I fully understand that this is totally out of my control because it's two adults. You know what I'm saying? Neither of you have crossed the threshold beyond crossing where it's just like total up, upright, like... Yeah, it's, it's not. It's not even a. It's not even a war thing or anything like that. I feel like you don't ever get there. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because I don't see her or you as that type of person that's gonna start getting to that that place. Because when I look at the subject matter, to me, maybe not to her, but to me, it's not that serious to the point where it can even get there. You know what I mean? I I, I so take I take I it I take it personal. To have that argument. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You want to know why I take it, it personal, man? It, it sucks because I would rather y'all don't have an argument, but I can't control either of y'all. Yeah, and, and this is why I take it personally to do the back and forth or to even make such a long rant post. I make music for my livelihood. Like, for my livelihood. Right. I could easily make this decision to sell out and make music that would just be lucrative completely and have no message. I'd be a millionaire already. Right. I hold true to the values of my people. So to be that easily and quickly dismissed because maybe music's not being seen, it's just so much... Like, uh, remember, on my side, all I did was explo- expose the past, in, if anything, really. Uh-huh. On the opposite side, daggers are just being thrown for all kinds of reasons. So the perspective is, G was playing fair. Shy was do- was beer low blows. But like like I like you were saying from the audience's perspective, just two people going back and forth. Right, and I mean, I'll keep it one hundred. Both of you guys got disrespectful with each other. Mm. You know what I'm, I'm not gonna say that. Um, one side of this or whatever. I like. I'm a fair person. I look at it and I be like, I put myself in your sh- in her shoes and be like, if I were her and this person said this to me, would I take offense? Like, yes. If I were G and someone told this to me, would I take offense? Yes. And my whole argument was, and I'm speaking to Float Child about this earlier, is that I'm not going to be, I'm not going to jump at you because your reaction is only the human reaction. When someone comes at you in a certain way, obviously, you're going to either kibber and not say nothing, or you're going to open your mouth and say something. Nine out of ten times, you're going to open your mouth and strike back. Yeah, I'm a Jamaican, man. I can't even be on the tip of the yo. What are you saying, B? Like, mm-hmm. I'm not going to come at you like I expect you to keep your mouth shut and just text when someone says something to you. And the funny thing, I was contemplating and hitting you right away, too. Like, yo, y'all are both adults. Mm-hmm. You guys both decided you wanted to go at it like that, and y'all went at it. You know what I mean? And, and I just feel there's a perspective that, yo, G shouldn't have done that, but... Hey man. Um, uh, my part no, no, not not not, not from you per not from you personally. You're being you're being fair about it, but like I like you're saying, you know me, so there's not it's not you don't really even have to be fair. You just know in a sense what I want. But right. the, the the reality is, there's thousands of people who see her post every day, and it's right. more and it's more than just that one post. It's a bunch of posts. Right. It's literally a timeline of posts, and you've. Right. Bati and benched yourself with that. So, in, and like I said, you have to be loyal to that. You have to literally be loyal to that energy that's coming on Facebook daily. Right. So, but now understand that I feel, mm-hmm. and maybe I could be delusional, but okay. it's my strong opinion that 
regardless of the strong union that me and Chad formed, people are still able to understand and know the difference between how she feels and deals with things and how I feel and deal with things. Of course, of course. Now, obviously, if she has a certain issue with someone, if that person is not like you, who's had a relationship with me from time... Oh, it's going to amp up right away. <laughs> I said it's going to amp up right away. If you didn't know, I know if you're like, if, yeah. Hell yeah. You feel me? Hell yeah. Because if, if you didn't know me, then all of a sudden, if you didn't know me, then automatically, if she's the enemy, I'm your enemy. I know how that works. Mm -hmm. And I respect that because I'm, I'm a man from, from the wreck. I, I go because of the project a lot. You, you're, you're loyal to who you're loyal to. Mm -hmm. But like, I'm a person who feels that I mean, I strongly believe that people are smart enough to be able to tell the difference that, yo, know, yes, they are together, but they still have their separate entities. They're still their own people. Right? I, I feel the industry knows that. I don't feel the fan base and the just the Toronto hip-hop fan base knows that. I believe the industry knows that because we've been following uh -huh. you so closely um, and your, sol your solidarity to what it means to be a black man. But you guys have literally, right. like I said, Batty and Bench, you guys dropped an album sharing. So so everything energetically is one and the same. Just like when me and you were doing so much music together at that time. It's like right. everything that I was doing, you were a part of. Everything you was doing, I was a part of. I understand. It's brands. So right. when I see somebody who sometimes supports brands and sometimes doesn't, and the only time they do versus doesn't is when, you know, it's part of the crew. But when it's not part of the crew, you know, that's where I'm like, I can't really then jump on and say we're trying to unite. Whether it be because you're saying it or because anyone from your camp saying it. I just have to be like, energetically, that side is just going to have to take a time out from me caring about what that side's doing. Not because your spec is or isn't my boy. It's just because I can't deal with negative energy from folks saying that they're about positive energy. It doesn't really make sense. It's kind of, it's, it's, it's double tongue. It's a two-edged sword, but not really speaking truth. So it's not slicing you for any reason. And that's how I, that's how I just feel in general, not just about today's situation or, you know, the, the, the posts from a couple of days ago. Just generally, just generally, consistently, that it, that's the energy in our city. The energy in our city is it's only easy for us to support when we know the person personally, but we're not able to support when the person, we don't really know them. Like, you have to understand the level of bullying. Like, I'm, I have a thick skin and I don't really care about my social media that crazy because I do crazy things on it all the time. But the level of bullying, right, that happens as soon as one response is made in opposition of the original post is uncanny for people who say we want to be edified and grow. Right. And that's just, you know, in general. Um, the two things that I have to say to that is, one, it's one of those scenarios where it's like, we can foresee that this is how it is on social media. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like, it's almost like you know how social media is, I know how social media is, so... Well, we're both different, so we'll handle it different, but my res result to that is I know exactly what to engage in and what not to engage in in social media. Like this right here, I know exactly not to engage in it. So I have it this whole time. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? That's one. And two, regardless of the fact that Shy handles the things the way she handles them, one thing that I always do is even if we don't agree, is that I respect the fact that this is how that she has the right to handle things the way she wants to. At the end of the day, whatever response she gets from it and whatever happens, it's all right, because she had up, she grown. If you're grown enough to make that decision, then you're grown enough to take whatever response comes from it. And you and I see and know very well from her social media that she knows that she doesn't shy from that. Yeah. That no pun intended. Yeah, right? no, I know. In, in in person I mean, conversa in the per in person conversations are different. They're calmer. Absolutely. You know. Which is why okay. we'll have certain conversations. I only have certain conversations in person. I get you. 
Mm. Right? Mind you, like everything I'm saying to you right now, I'm not trying to tell you that you are wrong. No, no, I, I get it. You're literally mediating the situation because that's your girl and it's her homeboy too. So, I, but I'm telling you, it's not literally, like, if you didn't call, if my inbox wasn't getting hit up, it would have literally been that status and on to the next. I've literally posted since. So, I, but I do understand the residual effects because I do still see the, the subliminals and I've always seen subliminals on that page. I'm not a subliminal kind of person, though. If I'm going to say it, I'm going to tag you and be like, look, man, this is just what I'm saying. This is my opinion. This is how I feel. You can respond. You can don't. I have been that type. So regardless of shy, regardless of you, anyone, I'm just always going to be that type. I just, I'm not going to instigate. I guess because of the, the couple days or whatever that has passed, it looks like I instigated a, a situation. But realistically, I just held back from snapping that day. Because now when you're going to call credibility to my to what I used to uh, to keep myself alive, because we just have a difference of opinion, and you're blasting it, and you're, you're saying, you expect, you expect ain't even bros, he ain't mentioned, like, you have to understand the amount of things that were said compared to just a couple things I said, and I left it alone, and things continue to, like, my, 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 my Facebook kept getting no, notifications, so... Yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. So, it's not like, you know, that happened. It was a back and forth, back and forth. We kept going back and forth, and then I I made this status. No, it was, you know, I made a few comments, and the replies kept coming, and I left it alone, and the replies kept coming, and, you know, I said, you know what? Let me give some perspective, so even if Shy doesn't understand why I'm saying or, or having the, you know, the kind of talks I'm having to her, now she maybe can understand. And that's that's it. Like if she doesn't, if she doesn't. If she does, cool. I know she will continue to post the way she feels that she needs to to express herself, just like I will, and just like you will. Um, so it's not that deep to me because I know, um, like I know what I'm doing in life, but I also know what brands co-signing each other and not speaking out on certain things or not whatever, whatever. So that's why I, I stand to what I said in that in that last rant that it's simply an apology that will end it because it's ended to me. But I'm assuming, you know, you still want to come through. We still want to connect and do music, but there's a complete brand affiliation. And as you know, Shai is consistently angry at the fact that I still, you know, work with certain people and stuff like that then I have to respect that level of connection that she does not want to have. And not to say that you end up getting pulled into it, but you end up getting pulled into it. So we'll end up always being bros, but then the music may not be able to connect like that. The music may not be able to connect because publicly, you know, that has already gone out there and it wasn't me who put it out there as her. So I can't even do anything about it at this point in time, but just move forward, you know? Man. I hear you, man. Yeah, man. It, it, you know, the shit of what it could have been. I can say a bunch of those, but at the end of the day, it's like, it's, it's neither here nor there. Yeah. But I guess what I would have said is, man, these are definitely conversations, and not just this, man. This is just an example of several conversations or arguments or disagreements that I've seen so many different people have on Facebook. That I feel like could have easily been, even if not in person, like a phone call conversation. Like, I see enough people that don't know each other. You know what I'm saying? People go. that don't know Shai, you that don't know you, maybe go at, go at you, or even just anybody in general. People that don't know each other feel that they know you because they see your pictures and your status on Facebook, so mm -hmm. they can just come at you and argue with you or whatever. Those are the people that it's like, all right, I get it. We don't have access to each other, so we're going to go back and forth on Facebook. And it's, see, and, it's, and it's all good. Like I'm not, I'm not bothered. Yeah, but why is she berating Layla Day about her music? Leave her alone. Yeah, you're, you know, you're living your life now. She's living hers. Like, 
That's what I'm saying. It's just it's just energetically to call something into your life. To call that energy into your own life. That is something important as humans that we need to understand. That if we're going to call negativity in our life, then it's going to come. And maybe she didn't expect it with Layla, but it came through G. Because you know me, I'm trying to stay real. And, I, and if it was you and someone was cutting up your music, it'd be the same thing. Absolutely. That's it. Everyone's I, trying to I make money out here. Trust me, you're, you're explaining this to me now. It's like, I know this. I know where you're coming from. Right? I get it. Mm. And I'm not opposing it. I'm not challenging it yeah. whatsoever. I just feel that because it's public, and I have a belief that when it's public, it should be reprimanded publicly so that others see and understand. Whether they agree of, of the, the reprimand or whether they believe G has any position to reprimand in the first place, I don't care. Like, I've done enough work in the city to say I can reprimand who I want, you know? So, and I feel it's important for me in the position that I have to, to be a producer, artist, whatever, and worked with so many people to do that. I want people to hold me accountable when I slip. Like this phone call, I respect you further for doing this. You know what I mean? I don't hold it against you. I respect it because I believe that when you see somebody faltering, you're supposed to hold them accountable. And that's that's all it is. If it's, if it's a private thing, then it's a private thing. But I have no problem with it being public, to be honest. Um, because I ended up uh, getting caught with here with my grandma doing some things. And, and then I got caught in another phone conversation. I didn't post. Um, what I was going to post to say that if anybody has any commentary, any questions, anything they want to clear up, just post on my wall. I'm not, I'm an open book, you know, but I do also understand that it's, is personal life too. It's, it's personal, but it's been made public because it's part of the brand now. So you guys put me kind of in a weird place and I wasn't sure, should I hit you? I know we were supposed to link. That was a month ago, whatever, whatever, but I just did what, what I would do, you know, and a million times over, I'd do the same thing. Mind you, I'm not, this phone call is, the basis of this phone call mm. is mainly just a, yeah, let's talk. Mm. You feel me? I feel like, I feel like I have to say something and I have to hear something, but it's not going to be on social media. <laughs> you feel me? Okay. The only thing that you want to see, you want to see from me on social media is my music, mm -hmm. my videos. My thoughts here and there, maybe, or some kind of, or anything, whatever I'm, something involving a million man march or something where, 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 where the blue item are trying to fuck with us. You yep. understand what I'm saying? Like, I just like to bring light and attention to those things. You understand what I'm saying? Anything outside of that, it's like, yo, we can talk about that on the phone or we can talk about that on the low or on the, not even just because I like things to be private, but my thing is I don't feel certain not, certain people deserve to be invited into certain conversations. I get what you're saying. You know me? Mm. So I'd rather call you. I know, and I and I believe that I wouldn't have had a, any back and forth conversation with you. Like I didn't expect you to really comment and I and I if you did, I most likely right away would have said, Well, hey man, if you're if you're ready to talk about well, let's just talk over the phone. But because, like you said, the nature of how I always go back and forth with Shy, then that's 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 definitely why I took that action or went that way. Because it's just it's within the nature of how we communicate on Facebook. Right. And I guess at this point, because it literally pulled you into it, either you were gonna go back and forth with me on Facebook, or you're gonna have to call me or roll through or something of the sort. So I do, like I said, I respect, I, I respect the situation. I almost, in a sense, anticipated um, some kind of conversation or something happening at one point. Right. Even, I wasn't even going to be quick to even link you today. I said, you was going to be a man, whenever we talk, we'll just talk about it. But mm. the way I'm also getting phone calls and messages on the side, I'm like, yo, is this guy serious? Because mind you, to me... This was not a serious thing until like people started making, making it serious. Yeah, yeah. I left it alone, yo. People literally, I left it alone. I was good. I'm telling you, I would like if a million people just kept hitting me up, I still would have left it alone. It's really because you're hitting me up that I'm like, you know what? Okay, let's talk about it. Let's 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 have a middle grounds or see if a middle grounds can be found. But it's not even really about a middle grounds because clearly 
you know, there's just two perspectives. And that's that's really it. It's just two perspectives shared on Facebook. And that and that's that's what happened. Right. And then a few things I'll say before I get out of this conversation. Mind you, I'm not rushing you off. Oh no, 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 no. You want, but two things I, I guess I want to say before this conversation ends is one. Um I can't tell either of y'all. I can try, but it's not in my nature to tell adults how to deal with stuff unless they come to me or want me to do it. So mm. I can't tell either of y'all what steps to take or where to go from this point forward. You know what I'm saying? My suggestion, you know what I'm saying? Not demand, not order. My suggestion mm -hmm. for both of y'all is that y'all talk it out. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you guys even want to go there, or if you guys are... No, I, I do. That, on that post, I was inviting y'all. Yeah, no, I agree, man. You know, no, 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 you're right. Sometimes people are not in the person, in the space to have it because... You're right. They're feeling certain ways, you understand? Mm-hmm. But my suggestion would be to leave it until you guys can have that conversation. Mm-hmm. Where they can because I feel like to go back and forth on Facebook, the... The um the end goal is not for there to be a resolution. It's just for people's events. Whereas when you're having a conversation, conversation like on some words to words, face to even if it's not face to face, that is like yo, we are trying to come to a resolution. We just want to see where I go. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know. Would both of y'all stand on that? No. Um, hey, Spec, bro. I literally invited you guys to a meeting session I was having the next day. I know um, timing wasn't right, but it was literally come from the right place, like from the from the, from the the truest place. And I'm having these meetings consistently. I'm trying to either have them monthly or, or um, bi-weekly or something like that. So... And people come through and we and we politic because that that atmosphere doesn't really exist for conversations like these and others to really happen so definitely i'm going to be having one again we can meet up earlier before everyone else comes and just chat but i believe in this city there's too much segregation for no reason it's petty competition but there's no competition because to me everyone sound the same everybody dressed the same to me everybody like you know what i mean like I pushed really hard to try and sound different, but I still sound like folks here. So it doesn't really, you know, what, what am I going to do? I can't do nothing about that. We're Canadian. We're Toronto. We're, we're from the same city. And we need to just accept that and accept that identity and run with it now. Hey man, I keep it, I keep the, the kiss theory. K-I-S-S, -S, keep it simply stupid. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and I say that, uh, what I'm referring to when I say that is the circle of the people that are operator that are part of the step one operation, it's very small. And that's for one reason, mainly. Um, well, several reasons, but they all fall under one umbrella. It's mainly because in the city, just like you, and you know I've been there and I've had these conversations with you, so you've been burned. But just like you, I've been burned by certain crews and collectives that I've been a part of. Yep. So if I don't have to reach outside of people that I know, I keep it like that. And ever since I adopted that mentality, my circle shrunk little by little by little. Mm -hmm. so I don't necessarily cut, I don't cut anybody off. I never tell anyone, yo, you're cut off, I don't fuck with you anymore. You just mean, is this a thing where people phase out or people join and start to do other things? Because the industry and your people get distracted very quick. Yep. You know? yep. But like, in terms of like, the cliquishness and the nobody supporting anyone like me, I want everybody to win. I just keep it small because I've been burned a few times by certain collectives and crews and I don't feel like getting burned by certain people no more. You feel me? That's that's why I'm doing it this time. That's why I'm like I'm building something. Like I'm doing something. I'm trying to pull everyone together where no one really needs to be together. No one needs to mess with no one specifically. But if I can be a point of contact between everyone, then to me, that's unity. Because I'm not an artist like how everyone's trying to be an artist, in a sense. I'm doing it. My whole business plan is completely different. My whole business plan is just a whole different thing. So I was like, I want to be able to be a point of contact between everyone um, for that for that very reason alone. But it's hard to, to you can't 
exalt yourself to that position. Like people gotta almost just respect that. So with the amount of work I've done in the city, it's still not respected. I just I'm just that's why I'm just quiet. But I again I can't I can't see certain things and let it fly, regardless of who you know, cause that's just me. Like I can't. And and same for you. I guess certain things you can't see and let it slide. So we're on the same boat. We're on the same page in terms of that. There will always be different perspectives, but if it's always to come back to unity at the end, I'm fine. That's what I'm for, man. All right. That's what I'm for. And, and I mean, even looking at this and coming to this conversation, I've accepted the fact that there is a possibility that you and her will never see eye to eye and never be on the same page. But I'm okay with that because that's how human beings stay. We don't all get along. Mm. You know? It would be nice, but I'm, I'm looking at it now and it's like, hey, mm. I can't have everything the way I want it to flow, the way I want it to be. You know? Well, but, uh, every, every, like today, it, everything is today. Like, all this is today. These conversations are today. But time always makes the difference. Time always allows for things to happen, you know, mentally the way we see it and picture it and hope and dream. So, I'm not saying I can't find a levels with Shy because I've found many levels before. It's just, right. I can't embrace negativity being pushed as positivity. And that's my perspective on it. Not saying that that's how you also see it, and that's not. How, I'm not saying that's what she's intending on doing. That's just my perspective on it, and that's and why you I was. Have every right to have that. Mm -hmm. Good. Hey man, I'm sorry, bro. Yeah, man. I like I said, I will send out. To... Hmm. Sorry. I just wanted to hear and see what you're from from the horse's mouth. You know, just hear it as to how you feel and what the situation is. Because everything you're saying now, not to say you're changing your words, absolutely not. But mm. how you feel, how people feel isn't always necessarily how it's projected when they type it and other people read it. You mm. know? Mm. So and are I, you talking about I, specific? I understand how you feel. With this conversation, mm. I understand everything you're saying. Okay. You know what I mean? And this conversation is far more clear to me than how you guys are going back and forth. Uh, say, uh, on social media because with that I could tell it was personal feelings okay. mm -hmm. and, and it's clearly personal feelings that are being presented in a way to I don't know look a, look a, look like the winner from both sides but to me you know it's not like I'm winning or losing I just made my post on my wall uh, and I tagged her so that she can respond and either refute or, or hit me up personally or whatever the case may be but energetically I understand what where we already were at that point so it's not like I was really expecting a, a true resolve I was just saying I've left it alone but it's not because I don't have thoughts about it just because I'm leaving it alone I tell you that hey I'll do respect for that because you guys could easily carry it on and carry it on and carry it on. Oh, God, that would be ugly. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that would have been unnecessary if, if it just kept on like that, so. Um, oh. Yeah, yo. <laughs> yeah, I wish you well. I wish your whole posse well. I wish your whole movement well. You know what I'm saying? No ill vibes, no negativity. You know, I hope Michael Lee can also understand that I feel the same way about her, and that it's not even a situation of choosing sides or whatever. It's more of a situation of, yeah, man, let's understand energy here, and let's understand what de what deserves a fight and, and, a, and an argument, mm -hmm. that, that kind of energy, and what doesn't deserve that kind of energy. And to me, I feel like the whole reason why I haven't said anything for a long time is I've never felt like this scenario is that you two grown people disagreeing deserve that kind of like serious energy because you're allowed to disagree. It's cool. You know? Mm hmm Well that's that's cool. I can I I'm fine with that. Like I said, tomorrow, weeks, days, time that those will be new days and and if we can sit down whenever we can at that point we will. And 
um, you know, like like you said, if it's if it's if it ends up not being that, it's still cool to me. Like I'm not here holding my breath or feeling sour or anything. I'm just moving forward. Like I'm just forward movement, man. Just forward movement. So t to you, to your own, to your squad, to to your team. I know you say it's not that large, but to every person, it's just moving forward and blessings. Sure. I'm for that. I'm 100 for that, G. All right, man. Respect for like we're re receiving my phone call and returning my phone call, you know? Is is this your number? Because they won't even save. Since I lost my other phone down the drain, I don't have no numbers. So is this your little literal number? It's my literal number. This the man just for the minute, sir. I just haven't had anyone's number since my last phone fell down the drain. It's fell down the sewer, uh, actually. So. This is me. Save me. Save All right. Me anytime you want. You don't know already, then. Yeah. All right, man. All right, bless. Bless.